Hey there boys and girls, Dina Monoxlis here with you again. In this video, I'm going to talk about a feature that's found on most Ampeg heads, but I think never really gets used to its full potential. I'm talking about the preamp out and power amp ins found on the back of just about every Ampeg head we make, with a couple of exceptions of course. Now these two jacks can serve in a couple of different functions, but the most common is for when you want to slave two or more heads together in a signal chain. This allows you to use the preamp and power amp from one amplifier and then control all the succeeding amplifiers in the signal chain with the preamp from the first amp in the chain. So let me demonstrate. So let's say I want to use my Heritage SVTCL as my master, but I also want to power a number of other cabinets to make one huge rig. Obviously I'll use the preamp and power amp from my CL to power the 810 cab it's sitting on. But now I also want to run a second SVT stack. Now I know I can run two A10 bottoms with a single SVT head because the SVT is too ohm stable. But for the sake of more power, I want to power my second cabinet with a second head. I simply run a standard quarter inch guitar cable from the preamp out of my master head, the CL in this case, to the power amp in on the second SVT rig. By doing this, I'm bypassing the preamp on the second head and accessing the power amp only with the preamp from the Heritage CL. The second rig is now the slave to the Heritage, and anything I do on the preamp from the Heritage changes what we hear from both stacks. Now, let's take it one step sillier. I, I mean, look further. Now let's say I wanna add a third rig to my rig. Now I could simply take another quarter inch guitar cable and come preamp out of that first slaved head and plug into the power amp in on the third rig. Now the third rig is slaved in and its preamp is bypassed and only the power amp is being used to power the third cabinet. The Heritage is now the master of both rigs. And you can do this on and on and on, continuously daisy chaining rig after rig until your band or your sound man basically just throws you out of the venue. Now another use for these two jacks is something similar, but a little simpler. Let's say you have a specific preamp that you like and you want to use in place of the onboard preamp on any of our amps. Now, I don't know why you would want to bypass the beautiful preamps on any of our amps, but that's your choice. You can use that preamp to control just the power section of any of our amps. Simply come out of your favorite preamp into the power amp in on the back of your Ampeg. Now you have your favorite preamp controlling just the power section of your favorite power amp. Now one last way to use the preamp out power amp in feature is to use it as a series effect loop. Basically the preamp out would act as the send and the power amp in would act as the return. Just remember that by doing this you're actually inserting whatever effects between the preamp and power amp of your amplifier. In the case of this CL here, which doesn't have an actual effects loop, it's kind of your only option. So folks, I hope this gives you some insight as to what and how our preamp out and power amp in jacks work on these amps. If you have any suggestions on future subjects or videos that you'd like to see here on Ampeg TV, shoot us a note here in the comments section. We'll do our best to get it done for you. In the meantime, my name's Dino Monoxilis, as I always say, play more bass.